All right, guys. So here we are, pulling into the Lower Suwannee Wildlife Refuge. Perfect day for fishing out here in Cedar Key Shell Mound. Woo! And for those of you who don't know, this is Esther right here. She's coming today. Found it. <laughs> but here's the entrance where we were at in Gainesville. It was pouring down rain, and you look at everything, and on the whole weather channel thing app I don't know what I'm talking about that whole app said that there's rain everywhere except Cedar Key and it proved right because look at how green everything is it's bright and sunny out there's blue skies and back at home it is pouring rain now and this is the entrance to our favorite little fishing spot I know it's a spot that only locals know and if you know where it's at then it's a good spot to fish and it's especially good if you like catching catfish shark stingray just about anything you can think of trout drum crab. there's a lot and crabs definitely catching some crabs Woo. and hopefully there's not a lot of people here and we can get a spot on the dock and I think our friend Don is up there right now thought I saw a giant umbrella but we'll figure it out in a minute but until then, we'll let you know how everything goes and how this fishing goes today here. So hopefully we can come back with a whole bunch of fish and crabs. But that's our little scenery right there. And hopefully we might get to see a little water tornado just strolling out. But until then, we're going to say bye. Okay, so we just got home from our little fishing adventure. Just unpacked a little bit here, and this is what we come into. Look at this. We got all kinds of arts and crafts over here going on. Doing a nice little portrait. Sarah's up here getting her Bob Ross on. <laughs> it's going to be a nice, pretty portrait. I think I can link one in the end of this video here, and I'll show you what we're aiming for. Roughly, but it's okay. And also, we got some sleepy and happy kitties there, right here, and here, and one in the other room, eating her dinner. But these ones are all happy because they just had some catnip. And this one's just sitting in his nice little chair. Aren't you, Coco? Hey, buddy. Say hi to your fans. <laughs> he said hi. Look, look. <laughs> and then we come in here. And the first thing she goes to is, we want some biscuits. <laughs> so we're making some biscuits in here going on to go with <clears throat> this nice little meatloaf that Sarah has wonderfully cooked up for us to have ready when we got home. We still haven't cooked the fish yet or cleaned the fish even. We just got home and we're like, we're hungry. We're going to make some biscuits and dig into this thing. So, uh... Yeah, we'll get into the to all the fish and everything once we're done here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you in a minute. So we're all done. And this is the final piece that she's had. She has a little bit of touch-ups left. Sarah said she's almost done with it, but it's nothing really like the inspiration she was going for, but it looks great, though. And it'll go great with everything. And we are all tired now. We got this done, her with the painting. Her with the fishing over there, and her with the eating. Tammy! <laughs> huh. You're tired, aren't you? <laughs> and he's just always tired. Or hyper. He's one or the other. Right? <laughs> he's my baby boy. And then, what's ironic is that we also have two little fish. Little gold one right here who blurps. And then this little spaz fish. Look and go. He's hungry. So with that said, we're just going to go ahead. We've already devoured that meal. So I'm just going to say good night. <laughs>